Yes, I've just started it. Thank you, Desiree. And would you please take the roll? Oh, wait, hold on. This is the November 18, 2021 meeting of the Assembly Enterprise Utility Oversight Committee of the Whole. Now, Madam Clerk, would you take the roll? Yes, Ms. Allard. Mr. Constant. Here. Mr. Dunbar. Here. Eddie. Here. Ms. LaFrance. Yeah, she is excused. Excused. Okay. Mr. Prosperdia. Mr. Peterson. Present. Ms. Quinn Davidson. Mr. Rivera. Present. Middleton. Here. And Ms. Alatel. Here. You have quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, next up on the agenda, we have a handful of items. Stormwater Utility Commission. Thanks, Bert. Um, the peer review of Port of Alaska modernization program, conversation with the administration, other business, and then under item four, it's the stormwater update, which we may very well be deleting soon. Legislative priorities and budget, and then audience participation. Is there anything that members would like to add to that agenda before we get started? All right, I'm not hearing any, so let's dive right in. I understand that there may be members of the Stormwater Utility Commission available to speak. Are you trying to talk, Bert? No, anybody? Miss Mears, oh, there, Bert, you're unmuted. Yes, I'm here. OK, so um, and Madam Clerk, do you have a copy of that resolution available? Yes, one moment. Thank you. All right, there we go. Mr. Mattingly, you want to take it away? Um, actually, Don is going to take it away. Oh, OK, Don, are you? Oh, there you are. I see you. I'm ready. Here. Yes. Take so uh, we were actually seeing some writing in the wall on on the wall in September and uh, felt it was important to reiterate some of the reasons that uh, the assembly and the community f have felt it necessary to uh, do work on consolidating our stormwater utility infrastructure uh, planning and management. Uh, briefly, the whereases are relatively technical, but really get into the meat of the need for uh, looking forward for our stormwater infrastructure management. Some of the basics of it is that planning ahead and being able to um, assess, evaluate, and plan for capital projects for our stormwater utility or for our stormwater infrastructure will will provide in better service and lower costs overall. Currently, we're really dealing with stormwater infrastructure improvements as there's failures. As we saw down in Girdwood, I mean, that was a you know, pretty big storm event, but you know, uh, you know, stormwater infrastructure is really critical to our road infrastructure as well. Um, and so we're asking that the uh, municipality continue the inventory and assessment of the existing system. This is work that's um, been undertaken as time and budget allows with the watershed management program. That work is vital in support of that uh, on an ongoing basis in support for that program will really help us at least slowly be able to um, get our arms around where, where we need to be and you know what our issues are and then continue to evaluate the establishment of a utility or other processes within the municipality to improve um, you know equity with 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 funding and efficiency of management because um, it's really paid for from the budget of other other programs at this point and there's several of them which which touch our stormwater infrastructure so that is briefly the meat of it
I would note uh, that at 11.04, Mrs. Allard arrived and we have, I'm, I'm expecting Ms. Quinn Davidson any minute. So um, are there any members of the committee that wish to uh, have questions or discuss briefly this resolution? Mr. Weddleton. So thanks, uh, Donna and uh, I guess others. So with the uh, study ended, the Stantec study ended, your commission is still in existence. I mean, what what would you uh, what, what would you what will you do? I mean, what? Um, okay, I guess yeah, I guess film there. <laughs> my understanding is that staff support has been withdrawn from the commission, so we are effectively uh, on on pause. But there's work we can do. Uh, we can continue to meet, maybe less frequently, uh, but. Uh, keeping up on the status of our stormwater infrastructure and having conversations within the uh, municipality and the different departments and utilities that are currently working on infrastructure management uh, is something that we can still definitely be doing. There is a lot of professional expertise on this commission. Yeah, I, I think uh, it is definitely a high caliber group there. And the issues remain. I know, you know, it's been a priority of the Hillside District Plan to get some kind of coordinated um, stormwater system. And what we do poorly up on the hillside, like we all know, flows down the hill to other communities. And I know developments on the lower hillside dumped more water into Bayshore. And we did a several million dollar project here a few years ago to deal with water that should have stayed closer to home. So these things, it, ignoring it certainly isn't a cheap way to go. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Dunbar. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So you know, in addition to the residents that deal with these issues on the hillside and elsewhere, and the staff that worked on this, another group that was really instrumental in driving this was the development community, um, particularly people at Dowell and the AEDC. Um, that have been talking about this for a long time because they see it as a barrier that's our poor drainage infrastructure as a, a barrier to development and often those costs get sort of foisted upon the developers. So I guess my question for you Donna is have you heard from that community at all? Do you think that they are aware that staff support has been withdrawn um, and yeah has there been any effort I guess just like do do they do they know this is happening? I, I just found out about the withdrawal of staff support this morning for the commission, so my guess is nobody else knows about it either. Um, uh, and we did not hold our uh, monthly meeting this week, so um, there hasn't been a, a public meeting in in a month on the utility commission. Uh, as far and we haven't had a discussion about it as a as a commission to this point either. So my guess is they're not the the larger building and community and construction community and the larger community um, aren't aware of this. I guess I would urge you then. I started to ask you where, where is this resolution being sent? Who who is receiving this resolution? I think uh, Christy might be able. Christy, Christy Bischoff Berger might be able to help with uh, answering that question. This I'm is not sure. It initially okay. went to the assembly. Okay, I guess I would I would urge you to please uh, expand that. Um, and you guys obviously are volunteers, and there isn't going to be staff support. But um, if you're able to to send that to a wider group of folks in our community, you know, maybe the Chamber of Commerce, the ADC, the um, you know, folks like that. I, I think it will be worthwhile to do so. I think you're on mute, Donna, if you were respond. I was, thank you for that input. Um, and I think it's not a terrible idea. It's a good idea to share it broadly with folks who have a stake in this conversation. Um, thank you. Ms. Zalatel is also in the queue. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so if the Stormwater Utility Commission, I don't know if, I guess I would give you a question to chew, chew on a little bit. And that is if we aren't formally looking at standing up a stormwater utility in this moment, are there other strategic options or opportunities 
um, or ways for the municipality to address the aging stormwater infrastructure beyond um, what's currently been done to date. And if that is something that the commission realizing that it doesn't have staff support, but would be willing to look at, because I think that was really one of my secondary questions to the idea of creating the uh, utility is if we don't do the utility, then what do we do that's different than what we've been doing? Because what we've been doing is never going to let us get ahead of the curve. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Altel. And I think that's actually a really good question for the administration to uh, chew on. They may or may not be able to answer it in the short term, but if not this, how do we get ahead of the curve of the breaking down of our infrastructure? That's pretty much a critical question. Uh, I see Ms. Bischoffsberger has raised her hand. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Christy Bischoffsberger, Watershed Management. We are working on a master plan that is all about um, prioritizing what the important aspects of each pipe are and each ditch are, and then creating a model that has flow through the system and shows where the deficits are. And then from there, we go out and ground truth what we have modeled to see if it's correct. And we are in the process of doing that. We expect to be through the Chester Creek watershed this year with, with a decent working model that then developers and staff can use to identify shortages in the system and also to do capital planning with. So that's watershed number one. We chose Chester Creek because we had the most information about it. But <laughs> what we need to do is go on to each watershed in turn and, and create a large master plan for Anchorage. And that's a project that I started independently of the utility project and would like to see continue and will be continuing uh, through the next years as long as it takes and the length that it takes is really based on funding so if i might ask a follow-up question unless you want to Ms. Alta, you have a follow-up i do and that is um what's the uh to, to survey or do the master plan, you know, municipal wide, what's the timing? When could it be done? And then where is the funding source and how much does it cost on an annual basis? The funding is in my budget as it is available. So in other words, if it's not taken up by other tasks, it's available to this. And then I, I make progress. It's taken me uh, five years under the current situation to get the Chester Creek master plan in place. I have a contract that has capacity for up to $500,000 per year. And if I had money for that, I could kick out a watershed a year, more or less. It takes about $500,000 per watershed and um, it will take probably a little more than that for Campbell, but a little less for Furrow. So that's kind of what the ideal budget would be for it, but the, the, the actual budget is as possible. Thank you. So I'll just follow up a note that Mrs. Uh, excuse me, Ms. Quinn Davidson arrived at 1113. And um, how many watersheds are we talking about? Well, seven major ones, but I see us, you know, expanding this through 20 watersheds over time. I do seven major ones and 20 smaller ones. I assume you don't anticipate half a million dollars for each of the 20. No, no, right. it will. The, the smaller ones will take less money. So has this information been summarized anywhere for the community for the assembly? It has, I, I have a, um, it, what am I trying to say? I have a presentation that I've PDF'd and I can put that out to you if you would like. Yeah, I think it would be great if you might share it with us. Maybe we'll bring it back for <clears throat> a subsequent meeting, not go through it today because we have this item on the agenda. 
but it would be under, nice to understand the scope and, and kind of gravity of that workaround. So um, the next person in the queue, I believe, is Ms. Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, you know, I guess I'm just thinking about all the entities that are involved with um, monitoring our water systems, um, whether that be the state or the feds. I mean, we have we have an awful lot of water uh, quality requirements that we have to maintain and reports that have to be made, whether where that water is going, what's in it, uh, where it came from. Uh, so um, I'm trying to kind of grapple with who really has the major oversight in all of that? Um, I absolutely appreciate uh, the fact that we have these watershed studies going on because I think they're probably part and parcel to being able to answer the water quality uh, reporting requirements. Um, but anyway, in terms in terms of how the commission could function to better coordinate some of those different levels of government and the different kinds of requirements for monitoring uh, where the water's coming from, where it's going, what's in it. Um, I think the commission could have a role in that that is absolutely separate from the utility itself. Um, but anyway, I, I'm not sure who could answer that question about, you know, how many different entities do we have that are involved with literally um, looking at where our water is and where it's going and what's in it? Thanks. Yeah, it's a very interesting question, and the what's in it, I don't know, is so germane to the question of how we manage where it goes to, but yeah, it's, there, there are certainly a lot of people that are looking at water quality, and so... But I think that's part of it, Mr. Constant, and that's why, that's why I asked the question, because somebody is monitoring what's in it. Thanks. Yeah, and I, I for my part, it's where the system is breaking down, getting the water from A to B or A to Z, but... Uh, Ms. Bischofsberger is also in the queue for this, I think. Uh, yes, thank you. Watershed Management is actually the group that oversees the permit that we have from the state to discharge water into receiving systems. And we actually do all of the work that that you're referencing that looks at water quality and and oversees what you know the the practices we need to put in place to control the pollution in our water. Interesting. So thank you. Thank you. So does, go ahead. So does that mean then that it's actually the municipality is actually the primary investigator, if you will, of of all of the stormwater in our community, and we simply report that to the state or to the feds. Thanks. In part. We are responsible for all of the stormwater that comes from our lawns and our businesses into our storm sewer system and is discharged to waters of the U.S. Once it's in the waters of the U.S., it becomes state jurisdiction, though they do pass a lot of the, the tasks on to us to demonstrate that the water's still good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was what I was trying to get at. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, next again in the queue is Mr. Weddleton. Thanks. So, um, Christy, what is the, so you do these management plans. What is the use of those? So if I'm a developer and I got a piece of property, are how does speaking, that end? Are you speaking to the master plan? Uh, master plan, yeah. The master plan, okay. Well, once we know where our limitations are, where our constrictions are, when we are looking to add another pipe to the system or another development that would discharge to the system, if we're aware of what the downhill situation is, then we know what that particular development needs to do to manage the water to meter it out, if you will, to go into the larger system. So then there's less work for the developer to do to identify what the downstream impacts would be, and then they would benefit from having this master plan. And then- Okay, so- you, Oh, go ahead. So without the master plan, is our developers required to 
do a full analysis of where does the water from my property go? In a lot of cases, they are. Okay. Um, okay, good, thank you. All right, anyone else with questions on this item? Anyone at all? So uh, I will just summarize and say that this is an ongoing concern. The assembly is watching closely. This commission still exists, uh, doesn't have staff support clearly, and the problem isn't going away. We have a staff apparently or a team that is under resourced. One watershed took approximately five years, according to the testimony we heard, and we have at least six others of scale, one that might be even more complex. And so at that rate, we're looking at 30 years to conduct an analysis of our overall stormwater health and how we're going to safely and securely move stormwater from the mountains to the ocean in a way that doesn't harm real property interests and doesn't cost us millions and billions of dollars if the EPA comes down on us for water flow issues. And so with that, um, I'll say this open question will continue to be part of our conversation at this committee. I think at this point I won't strike the stormwater utility update from the agenda as we move forward and uh, if nothing else. We'll move on to the next item on the agenda. Hearing nothing else, then the next topic is uh, we had presented to the assembly in the mayor's report at the last meeting. The mayor is intending a peer review of Port of Alaska modernization program. Now is a good opportunity for the administration to present a briefing to us. I want to own the fact that I think I failed to communicate to the administration that I was asking for this briefing. And so if the briefing doesn't happen today because of a lack of preparation, it is not because the administration failed to prepare. It's because I as the chair failed to make the request in a proper time. So if the administration is prepared to talk on this, we would welcome it now. Anyone? I know. Hey, now, it, look, am I the only? This is Patrick. Uh, I'm happy to to get an answer to that question if if there's nobody else on to answer that. We had Ms. Domboski on the phone up until just a moment ago. Um, you know, just because I don't want to have anyone riff on this without being really prepared. Um, I am going to ask that we belay this topic and I'll send an email presently to the administration and we'll have this as first topic on our next agenda. Yeah. I don't want to appreciate it. it. Thank you. That, does, that doesn't make sense. So, OK, um, then are there any other items folks would like to talk about in other business? Mr. Chair, this is the South Tell before we move from that item, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, as we get ready to set this for next month or the next meeting, um, <clears throat> I'd like a little bit of a timeline. I'm just going to kind of queue up part of the context I'm looking for um, because we did hear it at the mayor's report. I, I don't have a good sense if it's something already underway or something that's going to be undertaken. Um, and then the other question, should um, someone listen to this recording later, of course, is what involvement um, both the uh, design commission and the port commission have had um, or, or perhaps are planned to have um, in the process. So quite a, you know, it's just really need to understand the process that's being proposed, um, you know, so I have context if there is an actual result that moves forward that we're um, asked to consider. Thank you. Okay. Um. There you go. That's the thing. Again, I own responsibility for failing to get the question asked in a timely manner. I'm sorry. Plenty going on. And with that, then uh, we'll move on to the stormwater update. I think we just did. Legislative priorities question. Um, do we have any legislative priorities to be adding to conversation about a state legislative program? The legislature is convening in approximately two months. So I'm not hearing anything at this time. Probably I'll send out an email, I'll write a note to myself and Desiree, maybe you can help me remember this uh, to send out an email to folks prompting some introspection on the question of legislative priorities for uh, next year, the session so that we make sure we're doing our due diligence. Um, John, I see you put yourself back in the queue. 
Yeah, you know, just broadly, I think, you know, we all know that infrastructure bill is out there and that this might be the committee, I don't know, to um, for a whole new committee, you know, what are we gonna do about that? How much will we get? What do we do with it? You know, I know, you know, at the AMATS level, we expect to get about 40% more funds and that may not require a match. And there's some discussion, you know, just go down the tip that already list projects and put them in there. I don't know if that's the best way to do it because that's constrained yeah, no. by projects that can't match. And well, let's add some things that can't that are, we will never do because they can't get a match. And there may be but similar things for this. Obviously, we want to beg for money for the port anywhere we can. Um, but maybe the water utility has similar things. And also with that infrastructure plan, I imagine stormwater is an issue everywhere, and it might be called out in that infrastructure. Um, yeah, bill. and so I, not, John. I think that you raise a really great point, and we'll put that on the topic as well for the next agenda, Desiree, um, an analysis of the infrastructure bill and what that means toward our utilities enterprise and overall conversation that we have at this committee. And it could be an ad hoc committee gets stood up to address those concerns, or this could be the venue depending. And so, but we'll have that on the agenda for next month. I will make sure to be forwarding information that I'm receiving and hopefully the administration is prepared in good faith to have a conversation about those funds and opportunities so that we're all eyes wide open when the funds hit the table. Uh, but NLC National League of Cities is doing a really good job of sending out information on the details of that program. So if we're unable to hear from the administration, we will run our own show and we will be prepared when the time comes. Is there someone at NLC who could address these things? I mean, they might have a head start on all of us. They, they like totally it. do, and I'm getting daily briefings on the subject through email, and I'll just make sure to start forwarding them. And if we do find an individual we want to have, I bet you I could get them to come give us a talk, because I serve on the Transportation and Infrastructure Services Committee of the National League of Cities. So I probably have the best tap into the information of anybody. That's great, thanks. So Desiree, just make sure that's on the agenda and we talk about it sometime in the next few weeks. Yes, we'll do. Although I, I actually need to tell folks, I don't think I'm going to be here for the meeting next month and Ms. Alatel will be chairing that meeting probably. I haven't let her know that, but I'm gone from the 14th to the 24th and this meeting would happen in that window. Okay, so we're going to move down the, the list. We have the next item, uh, budget items for 2022. Obviously, we're deeply in the budget process right now. And um, so I don't know that there's much to be said here. Any members want to speak on that topic here right now? Okay, hearing and seeing none. The next item on the agenda is audience participation. Any member of the public wish to be heard at this time? If you are on the phone, you would hit star six to unmute yourself. Yeah, this is uh, Kurt Egelhofer. Can you hear me? Yes, Kurt, you are recognized. You have three minutes. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I just wanted to lend my support to continuation of the Stormwater Utility Commission being on that commission. And I'm sorry I missed the very beginning of the meeting because I was on the wrong conference bridge. But um, anyway, just wanted to uh, lend my support to that continuation. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Any other member of the public wish to be heard? Bert, I know you had your hand up at one point and then took it down. Do you want anything to say before we gavel out? Um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that Christy has uh, been working on the master plan and apparently the only thing that she's been voided, we can't assist her in that, which is kind of frustrating to say the least. Um, she's been instructed, I guess, not to interact with us, but she still has a task and we could be a support to that. Uh, I just wanted to make that point and make sure that was clarified. So you just put on the record that you believe the staff has been instructed not to engage at all with the commission. That's correct. Even though her task that we've been that we were formed to assist her with is ongoing. So that's helpful information. Thank you. 
OK, um, and we'll we'll take that up in conversations with the administration. Anyone else members of the public wish to be heard? Hearing seeing none, any last member comments? OK, with that, I'm going to suggest a motion to adjourn is in order. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again.